Russia was attacked by black-painted Boba drones of Ukraine. Facilities on the territory of the Russian Federation were attacked by black-painted Boba drones. Local Telegram channels published the footage of the drones. According to a Militani media outlet, on the morning of July the 9th, Ukrainian Boba attack drones were spotted in the skies over Russia's Astrakhan region. According to preliminary information, they could have attacked a military training ground and airfield located there. One of the drones landed on the field probably due to a technical malfunction. Footage taken by local residents shows that the drone is painted with the black light absorbing paint. The solution of painting the fuselage of attack drones with black paint is not new and has already been used by the Russian military to camouflage its Shahed 136 drones in the night sky. However, it is unclear why Ukrainian drones adapted for night attacks were used during daylight hours when their black profile, on the contrary, contrasts strongly and increases the chance of being shot down. According to the Russian Ministry of Defense, the Air Defense Forces intercepted a total of five drones in the Astrakhan region during the attack. Locals also reported that one of the drones was shot down in mid-air. It was also reported that due to the air attack in Russia, the airports of Astrakhan and neighboring Volgograd regions were suspended suspended from 4 o'clock a.m. to 9.30 a.m. On the same day, attack drones struck an oil depot in Kalach on Don in the Volgograd region of Russia. According to eyewitnesses among local residents, about 10 explosions were heard in the city around 4 a.m. After that, a fire broke out in the area of the oil depot with a black column of smoke and powerful fire visible from afar. Moscow's full-scale invasion launched in February 2022 has forced Ukraine to develop weaponry more rapidly, an industry largely based on private initiative to produce cheaper armaments, reduce Kyiv's dependence on its international allies, and to strike on Russian soil. One of the most significant changes of the conflict in 2023 is that Ukraine has taken the war to Russia. Ukrainian drones are launched at military targets and infrastructure in Russia on an almost daily basis. Even Moscow, over 300 miles from the Ukrainian border, has been attacked by drone bombs. Crimes committed by Russian soldiers against their own comrades increased rapidly in Ukraine. The number of brutal crimes committed by Russians in the occupied territories of Ukraine against their own comrades has increased rapidly. In 2023 alone, 190 cases reached the courts, although the real number of incidents is likely much higher. Analyzing court data, the Novaya Gazeta Evropa calculated that from January to October 2023, at least 135 Russian servicemen committed crimes against comrades. This is a minimum estimate since garrison courts in the partially occupied Kherson and Zaporizhia regions do not publish case materials online. Other violent crimes the soldiers were charged with included manslaughter, weapons violations and assault. Manslaughter cases are often covered up with the charges reduced to violations of firearms regulations, a lesser criminal offence. In 2023, the number of such cases in the occupied territories increased to 32, i.e. almost tenfold. The publication previously investigated how Russian veterans continue to commit violence after returning home and found that judges often give them light sentences and fines while ordinary Russians are sent to prison for similar crimes. Soldiers are rarely punished for drunkenness unless they commit a serious crime. As in civilian life, battlefield killings often arise from personal conflicts and disputes, but the potential for violence is greatly increased by the fact that everyone involved is armed. On the front lines, it is easy to write off killings as combat casualties, so it is impossible to know exactly how many of these killings occurred. Alcohol was involved in 83% of the murders analyzed by the publication. It is reported that 76% of the defendants were intoxicated, which is higher than the Russian average. Forensic experts have identified some defendants as alcoholics, drug addicts, and people suffering from mental illnesses such as post-traumatic stress disorder. Only 10% of cases are referred to experts. However, service members diagnosed with mental illnesses are usually mentally healthy to stand trial, often on charges of aggravated assault and murder. Of course, personal conflicts do not always end in murder. Soldiers often try to frighten or teach their comrades a lesson by aiming at their arms and legs or stabbing them. 
Of the available cases heard in the Russian-occupied territories, at least 27 involved aggravated assaults, including beatings resulting in death, more than were heard in Russian military courts in 2022. In total, 36 cases involve allegations of violent acts against a commander and abuse of authority, both of which are used to cover up fights and injuries. The exact number of civilians killed by Russian soldiers in the occupied territories is difficult to estimate, as Russian media rarely report on such stories and there is little forensic data. The few reports available in Russian media that do cover such stories do not directly concern the killing of civilians, but rather talk about Ukrainian agents who planned sabotage or passed information to the armed forces of Ukraine. Reporting on killings by Russian soldiers in occupied Ukraine would contradict the official narrative that local residents are being killed only by Ukrainian Nazis, the publication notes. Even though Russian authorities consider civilians in occupied Ukraine to be Russian citizens, regardless of whether they have actually applied for the status, because crimes against local residents are often actually crimes against Ukrainian citizens, they should be recognized as war crimes, says lawyer Kazaholubok. Therefore, such cases should be heard by the International Criminal Court.